If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. And your man, yes, sir, yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. We have another <laughs> opinion in regards to, you know, what I think is a classic fight between Canelo Alvarez, you know, old cinnamon. Versus David El Mastro Benavidez, you know, a lot of people chimed in on the professional ranks to the to the to the uh, uh, commentator ranks, to the expert ranks, to the fan ranks, and you know, everybody from even the likes of you know all-time legendary American Roy Jones Jr. with him saying, and I quote, that you know it's a classic fight. If <clears throat> Benavidez could take Canelo's punch, then he could probably win a decision. But if Benavidez can't take Cinnamon's punch, then he'll probably lose by stoppage. You know, and but now we have another legend, you know, Mexican legend Eric Morales chiming in as well. He said this. Check this out. Todo respeto de Benavidez no tiene técnica. O sea, su técnica está muy limitada. What did he say? Está muy al bravazo. So basically he's saying, you know, that Benavidez He's very limited with his technique, with all due respect. You know, he's he's a bigger guy and he's aggressive, but his technique is very limited. And that's why he edges out, edges um, the win for Canelo. And I agree, you know, I've always said this, man. This is a fight that I want to see. I'm not one of those Canelo fans that think that Dave Benavides doesn't deserve the shot or one of those Dave Benavides fans that thinks that Canelo is afraid of him. I think that for whatever reason, the fight just hasn't happened, you know what I'm saying? And it doesn't look good on Cinnamon's part, of course, but I think I just don't think that the all-time great Saul Canelo, Canelo Alvarez is scared of any fighter considering the fighters that he's shared the ring with before you know so I, I want this fight to happen but I've always said that I edge it to cinnamon because of his to his superior technique or what I believe is superior technique and that doesn't mean that David Benavidez that I think that David Benavidez isn't a, a high caliber fighter or he's not technical at all I just think that the edge and technicality goes towards Canelo and the edge and size and physicality goes with Benavidez so I think it's a great fight a classic fight you know but I do give the edge to Canelo and I think he does stop him you know eventually but I could also see a path of victory for Dave Benavidez because he's a beast as well so it's no disrespect to either fighter but I want to know what y'all think about that do you agree with uh, Roy Jones they could go either way do you believe do you agree with Eric Morales and think that it edges you know you lean towards Canelo or do you think Benavidez will pull it off, you know, and be the first one to stop Cinnamon ever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Also, let me know if y'all think this fight will ever happen, because it doesn't even seem like it'll ever come into fruition, but if it does, let me know who y'all think would win, and also if you think that this fight is a foregone conclusion that is not going to transpire. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace! From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.